Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghalibiya Palace a number of representatives council members where they discussed a number of topics and affairs of concern to citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that establishing security and stability protects the country's gains and increases the efforts of growth and development, which is a shared responsibility between the executive and legislative authorities. His Royal Highness stressed that cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities creates success and that the representatives' opinions and stances support the government, adding that the government will not withhold support to parliamentary work to achieve further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted that communication between the people of Bahrain is a value that is embedded in Bahraini society and no one can weaken their unity and cohesion despite all circumstances. His Royal Highness hailed their representatives and their continuous keenness on cooperation with the government on all that concerns the country and its people. He urged representatives to be united to serve Bahrain, emphasizing the support they will receive from the government. His Royal Highness affirmed that achieving the aspirations of a better future for the community and its prosperity requires the utmost cooperation and understanding between authorities, for which the government is keen on increasing cooperation with the legislative authority to serve the interests of the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted that Bahrain had experienced many events that gave it power and strength to deal with various challenges. For their part, the representatives expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous keenness on meeting them to strengthen the course of national work. They affirmed that His Royal Highness's approach of administering government work based on communication with the representatives contributed to developing the democratic experience in Bahrain and enabled it to gain a special characteristic in positive understanding between authorities. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's horse Samoum has won first place in the Hamilton Park race course in the UK, an affirmation of His Highness's strategy to care for horses and make achievements in horse racing. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that this victory is proof of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support of the equestrian sport and keenness to develop it to make honorable achievements for the kingdom. His Highness noted the development of the equestrian sport in Bahrain, which is reflected in the successive victories of Bahraini equestrian in various races. He highlighted that this victory is an incentive for making further achievements in future competitions. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the role of rider Jack Mitchell, the trainer Roger Ferner, and their keenness to win the race. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rafa Club was crowned as champions of the Nasser bin Hamad Football League for 2018-2019. Manama was placed second and Mharag in third place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated Rafa Club on winning the title, praising their outstanding performance throughout the competition. His Highness also expressed appreciation to the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Football Association, headed by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, for their efforts and keenness to lead the league, wishing them continued luck and success. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the patrons of the Cup of His Majesty the King and the League, pointing to the role of companies, establishments and banks in this regard. He also praised the media coverage which contributed to the success of the two competitions. At the end of the match, His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented trophies to the Rafa team as champions of the league and second place Manama and third place Mharag.
chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting where they approved adding a draft law to the penal code which criminalizes the act of offering bribes, demanding or accepting it. The Council Secretary General Chancellor Osama Ahmed Al Asfur read the Council statement congratulating His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing them many happy returns. The Shura Council expressed pride in the government's support for the freedom of press in Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and its keenness on preserving the rights of journalists and media professionals. The Council then approved three draft laws which included Bahrain joining the Principles Agreement on governing the activities of states in the exploration and use of outer space, the moon and other celestial bodies, and joining the document establishing the restructured global environment facility. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to develop urgent solutions to ease the congestion and improve the flow of traffic in a number of the streets of the Kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning announced the completion of the expansion project of the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway between Roundabout 6 in Hamad Town and Wali Al Ahad Avenue. He added that the expansion project will offer easier access to those coming from the left side of Road 6 and heading to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway connecting the overpass towards Minoma. The minister added that the project aims to boost traffic flow from Hamad Town by 750 vehicles per hour during peak times and improve the capacity of the intersection between the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and Road 6 by roughly 35%. The chairman of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, vice president of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, visited Turkmenistan to deliver a letter from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the president of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guli Berdi Mohamedo, and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Turkmen president. During the meeting, the Turkmen president praised the strong relations between Bahrain and Turkmenistan, which are based on mutual respect and joint interests, as well as the strength of relations, which affirmed the keenness of the two countries to develop those relations through bilateral agreements. He also praised His Majesty the King's visit to Turkmenistan, which had positive results for both countries through mutual coordination and bilateral agreements that promote historic relations. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Faisal expressed thanks and appreciation for meeting with the Turkmen president and hailed the warm welcome and hospitality he received, praising the distinguished relations between the two countries in various fields. His Highness had witnessed the International Horse Festival, which was held in the capital of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat. His Highness praised the Horse Festival, which is considered one of the most important festivals in the region, for the wide participation of horse owners in Turkmenistan, expressing his admiration for the exquisite performances he witnessed, which attracted the attention of the audience. His Highness asserts that Bahrain, under the directives of His Majesty the King and the keenness of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to promote cooperation between the friendly countries in the field of equestrian sports and benefit from the successful experiences of both countries. A ceremony was held in Abu Dhabi, UAE, in order of the graduates who took part in the Arab Women's Competence Building in the Military and Peace. Supreme Council for Women Secretary General Halil Ansari took part in the event, which was held under the patronage of the Chairwoman of the General Women's Union, Supreme Chairwoman of the Family Development Foundation, and President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood, Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bin Simbarak. 
A batch of 134 women trainees representing seven Arab countries took part in the program, being held by the UAE Ministry of Defense in cooperation with the General Women's Union and the UN Women. In a statement on the occasion, the SCW Secretary General hailed Bahraini women's participation, representing the Ministry of Interior, completing a three-month intensive training program. She underlined the importance of such participations, which provides Bahraini women the opportunity to hone and diversify their skills and build on their competencies, citing particularly peacekeeping operations. She also hailed the pioneering role played by Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak. The Moon Sighting Panel announces that tomorrow marks the first day of the holy month of Ramadan. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs issued a statement on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, reminding the public that during the holy month, coffee shops and restaurants must be closed and that smoking, eating and drinking in the streets and markets between dawn and sundown is forbidden. The SCIA affirmed that all those who violate this will be held in courts.